Hello and welcome to another update video about um, Binance Coin. I haven't done one actually on Binance Coin, but it's one of my holdings that I haven't covered and I haven't covered um, it in any video yet. So I thought today on a good day like that might be worth doing because it might show us what other cryptocurrencies are going to do next. Um, for example, Ethereum, by the way. So what we can see on this chart is that from yesterday to today, we had some nice moves to the upside shows us currently 4.65% in the green. And what we can see is, um, and let me just zoom out on the daily before we go into the shorter term timeframes. We can again identify an ascending trend line here on the chart, which in my view, that is the valid one. We had one point here where we had a bit of a breakout to the downside. There was a little bit of a fake out here around the 27th and 28th of September. Since then we've been moving up and now we did form here actually in this correction, we did form a um, inverse head and shoulders. Now we can see the same one on the Ethereum char uh, chart and it might give us a heads up of what Ethereum might be doing next. So I just wanna show that to you. You can see that you've got the left shoulder here, you've got the head and the right shoulder and we are currently breaking that neckline. Today we broke it. Yesterday we broke it already, but it was a fake out. Um, so we couldn't quite get through yesterday. Today, however, we are finally breaking it and we can identify a neckline here, which is this one here at $400 and, um, $440, yeah. And we can also identify a price target now with the head of the, the height of that head. Now, if we take that, add it to the neckline, then that could push us to for $550. Now, $550, that is quite close to the height of that wick here, to that high that was here marked on the, um, when was that? The 5th of September. So I'm sure that will be a resistance here. And that is also the height of that, or the, the target level for that inverse head and shoulders. Inverse head and shoulders, reversal pattern, you know, in a downtrend. You know, we are in a downtrend here still, in a short-term downtrend, whereas we are in an overall uptrend, as you can see here with the um, um, ascending trend line. Had a bit of a short-term downtrend here. And it looks like we've been making here this inverse head and shoulders, which now might help us to push further up. And I just want to show you on the Ethereum chart that we have exactly the same pattern, um, but we haven't broken out yet. And I think I mentioned it in my last Ethereum video as well. We have a neckline here at 3,600. So, you know, be aware of that. And if we get above that level, we can see some very nice increases. And I don't think it's far away that pump to the upside. And that could take us to, you know, I would say th certainly $4,000. And then we'll be in very close all time high territory. But that's with, that's Binance at the moment. Binance looking good at the moment with that breakout and um, have an ascending trend line here that we can follow. Good trade entry in my view here. Uh, no financial advice again, but it's not looking bad. Um, we're getting close here on the daily now into the overboard range. <clears throat> um, but we're not quite there yet and we have potential actually to get up to 80 or even 90 where we were before. Now on the MACD we have made a buy signal, no sorry this is the ADX and um, the green line is crossing the red line so we're getting higher here. Um, bear in mind the ADX the white line is below 20 so it doesn't really confirm an uptrend yet. We want to get above 20 but it's already giving us a, um, a long signal here with the green line crossing the red line. But again, when the ADX line is down the white line, then these crosses happen more frequently. We really want the ADX line now to go higher and go into the um, above 20 range. But on the MACD, um, we had a buy signal here on the 30th of September. So all of this isn't looking too bad together with that bearish um, or bullish reversal pattern really. And we are also now above the 20, the 50 and the 200 day moving averages. So we are above this cluster of moving averages. Looking good at the moment. I think the next level that we need to deal with is that $500 level here, uh, where we have this high here that we need to get above. And or you know, other than that, looking good. I mean, we have even a bit of a, a cup and a handle here. So if we manage to get above the $500, that could be that break of that cup pattern. Pretty much what we see today, with Polkadot. So is BNB next to break out? You know, I'll leave that to you to decide, but um, I'm just getting, wanna tell you that we're getting closer. You know, on this channel, we wanna 
<clears throat> identify opportunities. Again, I don't tell you what to buy. Can't really tell you because it could also go the other way. But if we have these clear breakouts and you don't get them every day, you know, a cup and handle of that size is significant and you can see what it does with the chart with Polkadot today. And then people tell me, okay, yes, it was because of the parachains and everything. Yes, these are short-term catalysts, but if you have a catalyst uh, or a news piece like that coming together with a, a pattern like that, and then we break that pattern, that can form a further catalyst. And then you can very well identify potential trade entry points. And um, to be honest, these news, they are only short-term um, catalysts, really. So last thing I want to show you is the trend rider here which is going to show us, you know, is it a good time to buy? Um, and again, no financial advice here. It's just what that indicator is telling us. And on the daily, I'm getting a buy signal here today because what we have, we have a change of the background color to green. We did have that yesterday, but today we also have the momentum indicator on here turning green, which would be a buy signal on the daily. Again, no financial advice. I'm only showing you what the indicator is doing. Um, and on the four hour chart, we, I believe, I checked it earlier, we had a buy signal already um, yesterday. With that turning green first, the background, and then this green bar here turning green yesterday as well in a move after that, <coughs> two candles after that. Since then, you would have stayed in the trade. So as long as that is green, it confirms that we are in a um, at least short-term uptrend here based on that trend indicator that trend rider indicator on trading view. Um, so yeah, looking okay at the moment, you know, coming from that downtrend here, now moving back into the uptrend, looking um, looking good. It looks uh, as if with this break of the inverse head and shoulders, we are really breaking that short-term downtrend here where we came back and pulled back to that um, to that uh, yes yeah, support line basically. All right, that's BNB. If you want me to cover BNB going forward on this channel, let me know. I think it was certainly useful to identify this in inverse head and shoulders. Now it's still quite early, and also with regards to Ethereum, which might break out very soon out of this. Again, hope you liked the video. If you did, please smash the like button and subscribe. And see you in the next video. Bye bye.